good morning everyone uh, myself uh, priya dashini working as assistant professor in the city department of orange engineering college uh, today we are going to see a video on the topic that transform and its properties based to problems uh, this is coming under the subject uh, digital signal processing the first problem find the transform of the given signal x of n is equal to 3 3 power n minus 4 2 power n u of n so we have to find out the z transform for this x of z is equal to summation n times to minus infinite to infinite and you x of n z to the power of minus n and we substitute the value of x of n so 3 3 to the power of n minus 2 2 to the power of 2 n and uh, u of n z to the power of minus n so here according to the linear uh, linearity property we can uh, have the separate uh, transformation and since it is of a step signal and uh, that is going to be a causal so the uh, limit can be changing from zero to infinite and it has been separated into two uh, summation n tends to zero to infinity 3 3 power n z inverse minus uh, n tends to zero to infinity 4 2 power n z inverse so uh, z inverse to the that is z to the power of minus n so here after that we know the function a power n u of n uh, f this in the place of the a i am having 3 power n z to the power of minus n so if i am taking n as a common so 3 z inverse to the power of n so what is a power n uh, formula 1 by 1 minus a that is z by z minus a okay. so in the place of a i am having 3 z inverse so if i am substituting that equation Uh, in that equation, general equation, one by one minus a, my overall function is equal to z z minus three. And here in this place, I am having two z inverse to the power of n. So my final function is z by z minus two. So from this, the region of the convergence I can able to obtain that is a modulus of three z inverse uh, less than one, three by z less than one. So a modulus of three less than or equal to z, or modulus of z greater than g. The second power series converges when two z inverse uh, is less than one, or that is two by z is less than one, or modulus of two is less than uh, that is less than what modulus of z. Okay. That tends to modulus of z is greater than two. So here the x of z is converges for the modulus of z is greater than three. So this is our final answer for that given function x of n. So from this, if I draw the region of convergence, I will be getting the uh, plane, a uh, circle representation for the that transform with the radius one is two, another one is the radius of three. So find the uh, next problem is find the that transform for the given signal x of n is equal to cos n theta u of n. So it is uh, coming under of a trigonometric function. So X of z is equal to the first step is always to substitute that in the formula. So x of z is equal to summation n times to minus infinite to infinite x of n z to the power of minus n. In the place of x of n, you substitute cos n theta u of n. What is cos of uh, n theta? So e power j theta plus e power minus j theta by two. Okay. So if I am substituting that, so since I am uh, it's going to be a cos, uh, the limits will be changing from zero to infinity. That two will be taken outside. This is our remaining function. So z uh, z to the power of minus n is multiplied with these two terms, and it is getting separated. So after that uh, separate, uh, after the separation, if I am taking the LCM for that given function, that is, uh, I have to substitute the formula of uh, a power n u of n formula. So what is the z transform for that? Is one by one minus e. So after that, I am taking the LCM. The answer is one minus e power minus j theta z to the power of minus uh, one. Plus one minus e power j theta z to the power of minus one. So this is our product in the denominator. So after that, uh, after doing the simplification, so I will be getting two, uh, two minus two cos theta z inverse, and here these two things has to be producted. So one minus e power j theta plus e power minus j theta z inverse plus z to the power of minus two. If I'm doing the all the simplification, my final answer x of z is going to be. One minus z inverse cos theta. One minus two z inverse cos theta plus z to the power of minus two. So this is the final answer for cos n theta u of n. The next two problem is x of n r power n sine n plus one omega by sine omega u of n. 
So you substitute that in the formula of uh, Z transform formula, summation n tends to minus infinite to infinite, x of n z to the power of minus n, you substitute the value. So after that, uh, the same simplification for uh, the same, uh, that is uh, like the previous problem. So here we have to substitute the value of the sign. So what is the formula of the sign? So after substituting that, so for the cos theta, we have substituted e power, uh, e power j theta plus e power minus j theta by 2. And for the sign e power j theta minus e power minus j theta by 2j. So the same formula they have used here. So they have used here. Okay, so they have simplified that. And finally, we will be getting the answer like this. So 1 by 2 j sine omega will be taken as a constant. And the summation n tends to minus 0 to infinity. So since it is of the u of n function, it is changing from 0 to infinite. R power n, e power j, n plus 1 omega, z to the power of minus n. And minus r power n, e power minus j, n plus 1 omega, z to the power of minus n. Since I'm taking n as a common, and this, pro, this term will be coming out. And similarly, here this term, e power minus j omega, will be coming out. And for this whole function, I'm substituting the formula 1 by 1 minus e. So after that, uh, by the series where it is going to get converged. So where it is going to get uh, converges, modulus of that should be greater than R. So after, uh, and after we are doing the simplification, and these uh, we have to take the LCM, and then these two products have to be multiplied. If I take this LCM, I will be getting the numerator like this, and the denominator is this, and uh, these two terms will be getting cancelled out, and remaining term is e power j omega minus e power minus j omega. If I simplify that, I will be getting 2j sine omega, and 2j sine omega, and this 2j sine omega will be getting cancelled out, and this is our uh, denominator is j. So what is the denominator? 1 by 1 plus r square z power minus 2. Minus 2 R Z inverse cos omega. So this is the final answer for that question. And fourth problem is x of n 1 by 3 n to the uh, 1 by 3 to the power of n minus 1 u of n minus 1. So the function you write the formula. So minus infinite to infinite 1 by 3 n power minus 1 u of n power uh, u of n minus 1 z to the power of minus 1. So here this alone I am taking as a function 1 by 3 power, uh, power n u of n. So x of z. So here, uh, summation n tends to 0 to infinite. 1 by 3 to the power of n. z to the power of minus n. So what is the formula finally? Or what is the answer? z by z minus 1 by 3. Using time shifting property, the z transform of x of n minus 1 is equal to z inverse of x of z. So here, the z inverse of uh, x of z is nothing but z by z minus 1 by 3. So the final answer is 1 by z minus 1 by 3 is the final answer. This answer, x of n is equal to n a power of n u of n. So z transform for this function is n tends to minus infinite to infinite a power n u of n z to the power of minus n. It has been changed to 0 to infinity a power n z to the power of minus n. If I'm taking this as a common, I will be getting z minus z by z minus a. So according to the property of the z transform, since I'm having n, so definitely it will be going under the differentiation property. I have to differentiate whatever the function is coming for x of z. So minus z d by dz of uh, x of z. So uh, x of z is nothing but z by z minus a. It has to be differentiated by using the method of u by d method. And our final answer for that is going to be a z inverse by 1 minus a z inverse the whole square. So find the z transform and the region of convergence for this problem. x of n is equal to minus 1 by 5 the whole power n u of n plus 5. 1 by 2 to the power of minus n u of minus n and minus 1. And we uh, substitute the question in the standard formula. And then uh, according to the linearity property, we will separate that. And after the linearity property separation, the limits we have to apply, the first will be coming under the causal sequence of a power n u of n. And second will be coming under the non-causal sequence. So the limits will be changing from uh, minus infinite to minus 1. Again, once again, the sign is getting changed. So the 
balance is moving from one to infinite uh, z by two to the power of n. And after the substitution, and our final answer is going to be that is uh, we have to do all the simplification. So one by one minus a, and here also one by one minus a. So if we keep on doing all the simplification, and our final answer is this: one by one plus uh, zero point two z inverse minus five by one minus two z inverse. And some of the problem x of n is equal to del n plus one three del n del n plus six del n minus three minus del n minus four. So del is nothing but the impulse function. So from the table of sequence, we can be able to get del of n is always equal to one, and del of n minus one is equal to z minus one. Okay. So del of n plus one is equal to what? Z plus one. Right. Accordingly, if I am substituting, so my final answer is z power one plus three six z power minus three and minus z power minus four. So all of these z and z pair, except z is equal to zero and z is equal to infinite. So in this video, we saw the problems based on the transform properties. So thank you.